Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And Marianne behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And today, sis, we're looking at vintage appliances, in this case, dishwashers. Um, I've had a number of requests uh, over the years, actually. People say, would you show your vintage dishwashers? Well, I only got three of them. <laughs> so... Um, this one will be easy, but, uh, and they're, none of them are, like, super old. In ter it's all relative, of course. I mean, they're old now because they're all 40 plus years old, 30, 30 years old, 40 years old. Um, but uh, anyways, this is what I have in terms of dishwashers. So I want to show first, Mayor, um, this is the one that is sort of the standard model that I use regularly all the time. Um, but I will say even though I use it frequently, I don't think it's run more than maybe 50 times in its life. And here's why. Because when I found this dishwasher, it was still in the crate that it was shipped in. Can you believe that? Nope. It was still, it was purchased, it was delivered to a house, and it was put in the garage, and they, it sat there. So, this is a KitchenAid KDS 20. It is a, come on in closer, Mayor. It is a Superba by Hobart. I don't know if you can get right, we're getting a little reflection from the light. Energy Saver 5 Superba by Hobart. And um, it had a variety of panels. This was a built in model meant to be put under the counter. We had a, well, I gotta fix that for Micah. Um, we had a variety of my, uh, panels here. It was white, I wanna say maybe almond. Um, and I can't remember what else. Anyways, there were like four different color options for these, for these panels right here. And of course, I went with white because the kitchen's white. But let's look at the front mirror. You've got um, a number of lights that come on in terms of the cycle. Sani heat. Uh, that's for sanitizing. It gets really hot. Pre-wash, wash, rinse, and dry. And it cycles through. And, of course, it's a mechanical kind of timer. So you hear all these clicks and clunks and things like that as it goes through. Then, I'll lock this down. Here are your cycle options. Pots, pans, soak and scrub. Heavy wash. Low energy. San sani cycle. So that's like to disinfect. Rinse and hold. Cancel and then an energy saver where it turns the dry heat off. So here's what I'll tell our food friends, Mayor, about this dishwasher. A complete cycle from start to finish takes about 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. Um, and when it's done, you kind of have to leave it for a while. The dishes and silverware are so hot you can't touch them. Uh, so I usually let it sit for another hour or so, but I will tell you these dishes are clean and um, they are dry when I take them out of here. They're not damp at all. Let's, let's open the inside and take a look. Um, so you can see this has got a porcelain um, interior here. So we've got, this is the compartment of course where we put in our um, dishwashing detergent. Det yes, detergent. detergent. You know what goes in here? Um, the liquid stuff. <laughs> yeah, that the, that makes your glasses not spotty. Yes, that's right. Like, um, is it Jet Dry? Is one of the brands. Yeah, yeah it's your rinse agent. Uh -huh. It goes in here, and um. Let's see. 
this is where the soap goes. I noticed that on newer dishwashers, the soap compartments are not as large as this. So I don't know if at the time um, they just required more detergent or not, or the new ones, you know, are more, they use less water. So maybe since they use less water, it calls for less detergent. These are not Energy Star appliances, okay? They use more water and they use more electricity uh, with terms of heating, um, but the, the cycles are much shorter than the new ones. Let's slide out the box. Oh, here, if you can get in, Mayor, this is this here on the side identifies the serial number, might be hard to see, the model number, made in um, uh, Troy, Ohio by Hobart. So let's pull this out. Here, here is our bottom rack for big plates and platters, as well as our um, silverware. You can see the inside here. So we've got, um, it has a top and bottom um, water jet here, uh, as well as the heating element is down here. And then we have our top tray, and here's our water jet for the top tray. And it's for, you know, smaller plates, bowls, glassware. It has these kind of nifty... Can you see how those adjust? You have this little doodad on the side and you have all these gradient options of where you want to set that. So you can sort of customize this to the type of dishes you have or want to use. Um, it's great. This actually came with the dishwasher and of course I um, I saved everything. Here's the um, here's some tips about automatic dishwashing. Here's use and care of your machine. It shows you. I love this. Shows you pictures of how to load uh, the dishwasher efficiently. Um, and here is look at this a coupon mirror. Mm -hmm. For Cascade, it's probably expired. Probably has. I'm looking to see what the expiration date is. Oh, I don't see one. But yes, I'm guessing it's long expired. Um, and then here's a KitchenAid catalog of all the different dishwashers and other trash compactors and other things that you could buy. From KitchenAid at that time. Isn't that cool? Garbage mm -hmm. disposal, um, the mixers, trash compactor. Here's our safety instructions. Here is the installation instructions for the installer. I didn't send in my warranty card. I mm -hmm. forgot to do that. Wouldn't it be funny? Maybe I should turn it in. Um, and then this is the sticker that was um, on the inside. Anyways, I kept all of that stuff. So this is the KitchenAid KDS-20. Again, it was essentially new and unused when I got it. And so therefore, um, it's been so far so good. Family mirror, look at this little fun little roll away. Now, this is a KDS 57A KitchenAid, also a Superba. Um, it's got the butcher block top that were very popular. It's in what they call, you know what that color's called, Mayor? Almond? No. Brown? <laughs> it's brown. Copper tone. Copper tone. Copper tone. Um, see, it's got the fake, kind of fake wood paneling on the here. It's got this nice sturdy handle which really makes it easy to roll around and I will say that KitchenAid really put nice casters on this machine okay in terms of its ease to roll away and let's open this up and take a look at it. So 
this machine was gently used um, when I got it, and it was a, actually a spare dishwasher. They had a upstairs kitchen with a built-in dishwasher, and they had a downstairs kitchen, or summer kitchen, and they had this one in the basement. So this one didn't see as much use. But anyways, um, here it is. It looks very similar to the dishwasher, the, the KDS 20. Uh, again, we have the same detergent cup here. Uh, we have our um, rinse agent. Thank you. See, I already forgot what that was called. Porcelain interior. Here is the bottom tray and silverware. Uh, now, you know how that one had a jet arm on the bottom and on the top rack. This one only has it on the bottom. Okay, we can, I'll take this tray out. You can see the one that we have there. Okay, and we'll take the top tray out and there's that. Again, this one also has the adjustable uh, so if you want to change it to fit the size of your glassware or whatever you're putting on that top rack. And then let me spin this baby around. So here are two things. One, this is your hose which you hook up to the sink. Uh, whoop. <laughs> uh, I did use it not too long ago um, and my, my good buddy John Lefevre put in a new uh, valve, water valve release um, for me because that was stuck um, and wasn't working. But now this baby's working like a charm. Anyways, this hooks up to the faucet and then this is where it discharges the water. Then on this side you have the power cord that plugs into you know your wall outlet. I'm going to show you, Mayor, here, we're going to pull this out. Whoop, not quite close enough, am I? Hold on. I wanted to show our, let me move the rug. Show our, come around this way, honey. Here we go just like that. Okay, that's how it hooks up. You turn the hot water on, it, it runs the hot water into the dishwasher here, and then the dishwasher pumps the water out and back into the sink after the cycle's done. Pretty nifty, huh? Yeah. And then it just, you know, rolls out of the way. These, I think they, they still, uh, they still, some manufacturers still make roll away dishwashers, and it's still a good option for some people. Then here's the third dishwasher and this one is a Maytag WC204 is the model number. Again it's got the butcher block top. This one is a fairly basic machine. Oh by the way let's turn back to this KitchenAid. I want to show our friends that this is also um, a superba model um, and it has the lights that take you through the cycle pre-wash, wash, rinse, sanitize and dry and here are the options full cycle, soak, sanitize cycle, rinse hold, lightly soiled, plate warming and cancel and drain that plate warming is a nice option because you know you should always serve hot food on a hot plate, right? right. You always say that and what you could do is the dishwasher's empty, okay, there's nothing in it. You could put your plates in there and hit the plate warming option and the heater would come on in the dishwasher and it would warm those plates. So at time of service you could take those plates out and they'd be nice and hot. For the hot food. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. This one by contrast, this Maytag Jet Clean Dishwasher, 
um, doesn't have as many options and is sort of a, a basic model, I would say. Um, it has light wash, regular wash, pots and pans, dry and rinse. Um, so here you'd put it on regular wash, okay, and then um, energy saver push knob, you push it in, you pull it out, okay, that turns it on and off. This of course is your door lock. Let's open it up. This is also a porcelain interior. Here you've got your detergent cup and then here we have a top and bottom rack. Uh, it does only has a water jet on the bottom. So you can see that the way it's configured is a little bit different than the KitchenAid. You've got this area right here that um, is cut out because of the water jet, which is, if you noticed on the KitchenAids, the water jets were made out of plastic, obviously, or made out of stainless steel. And the, the, this Maytag, it's a plastic water jet. Anyways, you have, this one gives you fewer options, I think, for putting plates. It's just a weird configuration with this cutout. At the top is where you have your silverware caddy and then your plates. Nothing is adjustable. It's all fixed unlike the KitchenAid models that let you adjust um, accordingly uh, to kind of fit your china service. This is everything is just fixed. It's a much less expensive model um, and more basic. Although I will tell you, it does a really good job cleaning. I've used it a number of times as sort of an auxiliary and um, I thought it did a fine fine job. Not quite like the uh, KitchenAids, but, but very good. And this one, again, the model is a W WC204 um, series is uh, zero one uh, Maytag Newton Iowa USA so there is the Maytag and there are our dishwashers the, the three vintage ones again the built-in KitchenAid is the one I use the most uh, and then I kind of switch off with these portable roll away models. Um, they all do a fine job. In comparison to most modern dishwashers, they, they might be a little noisier. Um, they do use more water. Uh, they probably pull more electricity, but they run on a much shorter cycle. Standing job cleaning dishes and when you take the dishes out, they are dry. They're not damp, they're not wet. Um, they're dry and in some cases, nice and warm. So anyways, there's our vintage dishwashers here at the Cavalcade. So Mary Ann, thank you for working the camera today. You're welcome. And we'll thank our food friends for uh, hanging out with us for this little look at the dishwashers here. Let me remind them of the website, which is cavalcadeoffood.com. Um, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will look forward to seeing you again real soon here on Cavalcade of Food. Until then, stay warm and well, everybody. Bye. Bye.